Kathleen Henderson from Roots and Boots and I'm going to show you how I make crispy nuts by soaking and drying raw nuts in order to make them more nutritious to the body and more easily digestible. I also have a blog post about this with step-by-step -step instructions so if you like to read your information you can check the description below for a link to that blog post. If you're eating a real foods diet, and especially if you're eating a paleo or paleo-ish diet, you're probably eating a lot of nuts. Digesting nuts can be hard on the body, and they also contain phytonutrients, which bind with other things in our body to take some of the nutrients out instead of nourishing our body with those nutrients. So one way that we can make nuts more easily digestible and more nutritious to our body, so more of the nutrients stay in our body, is by soaking them and drying them. This is a similar concept to if you soak your grains or your beans before cooking. This is a similar concept. So we do an overnight soak of the nuts. I like to use a big glass bowl. This bowl doesn't have a lid, so I will often just put a big plate on top of it as a lid. You can also use um, like a half gallon jar or other big glass jars if you have them with the lid. I always put a lid on it because sometimes we have fruit flies in our kitchen, sometimes we have regular flies, we're on a farm, and I don't want any of those critters in our nuts that are soaking. So use some kind of glass container. You want it to be big enough for your nuts. Your nuts are probably gonna fill about half of the container, and then you wanna make sure that you add much more water. Don't just cover the nuts, you wanna add a lot more water because they're going to expand a little bit. So that's how you soak them. I usually do that overnight. And then in the morning, I drain the nuts in, in a large colander and spread them out on my dehydrator trays and sprinkle some salt on top and then place all the nuts in the dehydrator. I'm not too picky about the temperature. The dehydrator just needs to be turned on. I usually turn mine to about halfway around the dial and then they dry for at least 12 hours sometimes 24 hours or even longer we just keep testing them try a nut or two and see if they're crunchy crispy we want all the moisture out for storage and the drying time can depend on you know the time of year the humidity levels in your house and of course the temperature that you set the dehydrator on Sometimes I'm using the dehydrator for other things at the same time while the nuts are drying, so it just depends on a lot of variables. But the main thing is just keep drying them until they are totally dry and crispy, and then we store them in airtight containers in the pantry. And this is what I do with all of my nuts, whether we're eating just a handful of nuts or whether we're using them for baking, like in my blender waffles, etc. And that's it, it's a really simple process. I hope that helps that is how you make crispy nuts.